I know this might sound harsh, but there is a chance that you are making these mistakes and they are not in order, but they can impact your future gains more than others. I have made all of these and let me tell you this, it can cost you not just weeks, months, but even years of no progress if you are making just a handful of these mistakes. But let's start with the first one, short rest time. And there was a time when I believed that if I was doing shorter rest time, I was working harder, but I wasn't. It was exactly the opposite. All I was doing is shortchanging my muscles of the time they needed to recover and grow. But it is simple. If you have three working sets, the only way for you to recover in between sets within 30 seconds if you're not pushing it hard enough. But if you're not pushing it hard enough, you're not going to grow. But I'm pretty sure if you have done a really heavy set of bench press, you at least needed three minutes plus just so you can recover so it's not hindering your performance. If you can't perform, you're not going to grow. The next one on the list is the effort you are putting in into each set. It is easy to go through the motion, but actually pushing it hard is going to be difficult. I am not even talking about biceps or arm training because people tend to get that right. But even then, if you just look around, you see people finishing their sets and thinking, yeah, that was an okay set, but you could have done three or four more. And not to mention legs. If you are doing a leg press, I know that a hard leg press, really challenging one, is soul crushing. But this is the only way and that's the reason you are using stable exercises and you go to the gym to improve. So you will have to put in all of your efforts into the set what you are doing right now and repeat it for everything you are doing. Third mistake is ego lifting and one rep maxes. Building muscle is really easy. All you have to do is stimulate your muscles and for that even one rep is going to give you some kind of stimulus but to optimize your muscle growth you need at least five reps. It doesn't matter what's on the bar, you're still going to get stronger just in a different rep range. It's not going to be one to three reps, it is going to be five to nine reps or if I want to be a bit more specific for hypertrophy it's going to be 5 to 30 reps, that's going to be the rep range. Fourth mistake is workout hopping. I know you like new exercises and novelty, but training in the gym is just like working. You go there, and you know that it's going to be boring and some tasks are going to be boring, but that is just how it is. It is going to be repetitive, but that is what it takes to grow your muscles. So you need to keep the same workout for at least 4 to 12 weeks, and when you are seeing little to no progress, you can change it or you can rotate your exercises to a newer one but make sure that they are still effective not just you know those fancy and trendy exercises what you see on instagram fifth mistake is chasing feelings i used to think that if i didn't get a pump or i didn't feel soreness the next day after my workout was nothing or at least i didn't make any progress but little did i know it was the opposite but i learned that muscle building is not about your feelings it's about progressing. You have to progress. If you bench press 20 kg for 5 reps and the next week you go down and you use the same weight for 8 reps, you progressed. And it doesn't matter if you didn't get a pump or soreness the next day, you still progressed. Your muscles are adapting and they are growing. Again, soreness is more of a thing that's coming from novelty or using new exercises or training the muscle at long muscle length. So for example, if you're doing a bench press, squat, deadlift, they are more capable of causing muscle soreness than other lifts like a chest fly or a leg extension. And the pump is pretty much the same. It is so much easier to get one if you are training your muscles in a shorter position. So for example, if you are doing a biceps curl or if you are doing a chest fly, you are going to feel a bigger pump. But it is nothing as just strapping metabolites. They are not going to grow your muscles. It's only going to be mechanical tension. And the sixth mistake is going to be not focusing on progressive overload. If you go down to the gym and you are using the same weight for the same reps and you see little to no progress, it's because of that. In order to grow, you need to challenge your muscles and that's going to come in a form of increasing your weights and your reps. And I know some of you are going to say that, oh, but time under tension and tempo training. Yeah, that's one way to do it. But you see that guy with the tree trunk legs, He's not going to do a 2 minutes lunges with 10 kg weight, he's probably going to lunge his body weight plus more for 5 to 30 reps 
and that is how he got big you're not just going to get big if you're not stronger so that should be your primary goal increasing the weight and the reps as in a form of progression seventh mistake is bad training split as in you are not training every muscle group equally or at least you're not giving them anything at all i can't tell you how many programs i've seen where let's say that it was a bro split and there was a leg day there and it consisted of a squat a hex squat and the rest was just arm exercises look i understand that you are trying to improve the muscle what you can see and show but you are not going to do the same on your arm days right you're not going to chuck in leg exercises and say that yeah this is my arm day so don't do that with your leg day as well and in most cases at least for men whenever i go through their training it's always legs that are lagging and some cases it's back as well because you can't see that if you go to the gym every day at the same time you're going to see the same people and you will most commonly see them doing everyday bench press and biceps curl you rarely see them doing a deadlift stiff leg deadlift a squat a leg press or even a hip thrust but it's definitely something you never see actually you don't want to be that guy who has been training for five years and has to google oh what to do with my lagging legs or how to fix my legs they are skinny just because you didn't train them in the first place eighth mistake is copying enhanced lifters workouts and instagram workouts just because it worked for them it doesn't mean that it is going to work for you and not just because of the exercise choices but the way they are doing the training and the instagram one look i get it it is so easy to open the app you see your favorite fitness influencer and say that hmm i'm going to copy this workout but do you really believe that this person who is uploading newer and newer exercises every day putting it together as a workout is following that or got their results doing a daily workouts of course not. they've been repeating the same thing the same boring thing for years and that's how they got their result so you already know that it's not how it works and ninth mistake is cardio before workout and heat training after or before workout you don't need to be so focused on burning calories you need to create a deficit with your diet first and do the cardio later if you are doing cardio before your workout you need to understand that it is still going to fatigue you and it's also going to drain your energy and if you are doing your workout and you are a tiny bit fatigued or somewhat fatigued no energy and it's going to hinder your performance you're not going to grow everything is about performance you can do your walking or running right after you finish your workout it's not going to impact that but if you are doing hit training again it's not going to solve anything and i get it in 10 minutes you can get something done jumping around but that's not how you do it and if you are really focusing on doing all of these first as a form of burning calories you already failed if you can't create this deficit with your diet the gym is a sacred place where you go to make gains not to lose them 10th mistake is not tracking your workouts you can't progress if you have no idea what you've been doing in the gym for months let alone for years it literally takes you a few seconds to write it down if you are old-fashioned in a notebook or open an app and put it in excel or google sheets in between your sets what you don't know is going to be hard to improve 11th mistake is relying on the things that worked in the beginning just because something worked in the beginning it doesn't mean that it will continue to work as you progress the first time you step into the gym you can just flirt with the squat rack and you are going to make some gains but once the honeymoon phase is over you have to do all of the things what i just listed before and what i'm about to list now in order to make some gains and the 12th mistake and the last one is using and abusing intensifiers you don't need to superset giant set every exercise you see let alone drop setting every sets you are doing straight sets are always going to be the go-to way in order to make progress and train and the rest it doesn't matter what you say it is only going to give you one benefit one benefit only decreasing the time spent in the gym but nothing else and if you believe that they have any other benefits then you are going to learn it the hard way and i understand that some of you are doing it for fun that's fair enough i'm not saying not to do it i'm just saying it 
to not abuse it and do everything in that fashion. So there you have it, my top 12 muscle building mistakes. I hope you learn from them so you can be on the path to bigger and better gains. Watch these two videos next, like, subscribe, hit the bell for coaching, hit the link in the description. Talk to you soon.